Please activate the subtitles. In order to activate the subtitles, you just have to click on the three little dots on the screen of your mobile or on the gear if you are on a computer. Before we start the video, I'd like to ask you to please leave a comment and hit the like button because when you leave a comment and when you hit the like button, YouTube understands that my video is interesting so it starts showing my video to new people and therefore you help me grow the channel. So before we start the video, hit the like button and leave a comment. Thank you very much for everything and now without any further ado, let's get started. My name is Roger Kala and this video is going to be very quick. I was planning to make many more videos this week but I was called to work as an interpreter in the countryside so I won't be able to shoot any, any more videos this week. You know, I was planning to make many more videos but yeah. Therefore, the, this is the only moment I'll have this week to make a video, you know, for the weekend. As I'm driving to work, yes, yeah, I'm driving right now. But it's good because it gives me another great opportunity to make another episode of a series of videos named Real Life English. Firstly, if you are new to this channel, the objective of this series of videos named Real Life English is for you to have more contact with English, with Real Life English, so I'm not going to hold myself back. You know, if I have to speak fast, I'm going to speak fast. If I have to speak slowly, I'll, I'll speak slowly, you know, because this is the way I speak, naturally. Oh, and the idea is that you watch my videos three times, once with the subtitles in your language, so that you get the gist of what I'm saying. The second time you should watch it with the subtitles in English, pausing the video, taking notes of new vocabulary and stuff. And the third time you should watch it without subtitles in order to practice your listening comprehension skills. Oh damn it, the phone's ringing, I'm gonna have to answer that. Hold on, excuse me. Who's this? Who's speaking? Can I talk to Roger Culler, the sexy teacher? This is Roger. I am the sexy teacher, but how do you know that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but who are you? Who's speaking? Oh, this is Roger. He has students. <laughs> what do you want? I want you. What? I want you to answer a question. Uh, uh, please, I was listening to what you were saying about watching your videos three times and I've got a question to ask you. Wait a, wait a minute. How can you be listening to what I'm saying right now? I'm in my car, driving to work. I'm just recording my voice here. I haven't even edited this video yet. Oh, I'm here in the car with you. I'm in the trunk of your car and I can hear everything you say from here. What are you doing in the boot, mate? Why are you there? I'm here because... Well, can I sing a song to answer this question? No, don't do that. <laughs> okay, it goes something like this. Mm -hmm. Every breath you take Mate! Every move you make Every bone you break, every step you take, I'll be watching you Every single day Every word you say Every game you play, every night you stay, I'll be watching you Just stop it! Oh, can't you see? You belong to me! Alright, alright, alright. Just tell me what you want to know, mate, please. What do you want? What, I what is your question? My question is, if I just listen to your videos in English, will I speak perfectly like in one month? Without doing anything else, just watching your just by watching your videos? No, man, of course not. You will not learn English only by having contact with it and only by watching videos. You need to work hard in order to achieve it. If you truly... If you truly, from the bottom of your heart, want to speak English properly, you're going to have to have routine, discipline and deadlines. Basically, you need to be extremely organized. It's not an easy task. Remember, no pain, no gain. Uh, and please look at the pin... Please look at the pinned comment down below this video because I'll leave you links that will take you to other videos that I've already talked about what you should do in order to achieve fluency 
these are the videos are more detailed so please if you really want to speak English perfectly please go to the pinned comments down below this video and read it carefully you know the problem is that in order to have discipline routine and deadlines I would have to be motivated and I've got to tell you my sweet master that <laughs> I haven't been very motivated lately what I haven't been very motivated lately Um, you know, you know what I do when I when I don't feel motivated. No, no, no! Please tell me, tell me what you do. Being motivated depends a lot on the way you see life itself. Um, I'll, I'll explain it better. I'm going to tell you what I do. I'm going to tell you how I see it from my standpoint and how I see life. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything. <laughs> You know, I see life as a jungle or as the savanna. Imagine you had to live in the savanna or in the jungle for, for a week, for example. Uh, no, no, all your life. You have to live in the jungle all your life. Can you imagine that? No, no, I can't picture that in my mind. I think I would die on the first day unless I had someone to protect me. Ah, Roger, can I call you Mr. Tarzan from now on? And you can call me Jane. No, mate. But getting back to what I was saying before, imagine you live, you live in the savanna, and you are a lion. No, no, no. You are the lion. A sexy lion. Hi. <laughs> oh man! Please let me continue. Uh, imagine you are a lion living in the savanna. What do you have to do in order to survive? Well, uh, then I would have to hunt. Exactly. Because if you don't hunt for food, you will starve. You will die. There's no way out of it. There's no choice. If you don't hunt, you die. If you just stay there sleeping, you're gonna die. And this is how I see my life. You know, I, if I don't work hard every day, I will not make my dreams come true. It may be hard to see it clearly now, but life is short. Yes, yes, life is short. Like, I remember I was 10 years old, like, five days ago. <laughs> it feels that, you know, it was like just five years ago when I was 10 years old and I was just, you know, thinking about Pokemon and stuff like that. And I'm here driving to work. And it feels that I was like 16 years old yesterday when I got my driver's license. And I was so excited, you know, thinking about my future, thinking about traveling the world. And guess what? I've been to many different parts of the world, world. Even though I've never been wealthy, I've never been rich. I could do that because I've always worked hard in order to achieve my goals. But I, I had discipline, I had deadlines, you know, and I worked hard. Because if I, if I hadn't, I wouldn't have been to these places. Oh, where have you been? I've been to France, Switzerland, the Netherlands, Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, the USA, England, Wales, Ireland, Scotland, Italy, and now Brazil. I wouldn't have been to any of these places if I hadn't worked hard. The key to success is you need to know what you want. Then you should set deadlines and you should work hard in order to achieve them. You need to live up to your deadlines. Once you have your deadlines, you should work hard and do whatever it takes to reach that goal. To accomplish that objective. Oh, just like a lion in the savannah. A lion needs to hunt, so the prey represents your goal. And you are the lion. If you don't run after the prey, you will starve to death because this prey will never come to you, willingly. Like, English will not come to me magically. I need to do whatever it takes in order to speak it properly. So I need, if I need to work, so if I need to work hard and study every day, very hard in order to make it happen, I will have to do it. Yes, you have to do it. Nobody else is going to do it for you. Nothing really worth it happens in our lives if we don't work hard, if we do nothing. So every time I feel demotivated, every time I feel down, I think, I tell myself, No, Roger, you won't give up. No, Roger, you won't sleep five minutes more. No, Roger, you won't be absent at work today. You will stand up and fight. 
You know what? Because you are a hunter, and this is a savanna. You are a tiger, and this is the jungle. You are a warrior, and life is a war. And today is another battle to be fought. So stand up and fight. Nothing will happen in your life if you don't do it for yourself. Remember, it only depends on you. Do you really want it? Go for it. Just do it. <laughs> Damn it, Roger! I got the chills all over my body now. I know. Please click the big red button to subscribe. It really helps me when you do that. And click the bell to allow notifications so you will never miss new videos. Thank you very much.